We start with breaking news coming in right now, viewers. One of the top stories that we have been tracking today, Congress versus Congress over the free B issue. Now it's the Prime Minister who is now lashing out at the Congress chief. He's targeting the Congress chief, uh, Malika Arjun Kharge, over his uh, katakat comment, accusing Congress of making grand promises that it cannot deliver. In fact, Prime Minister Modi has uh, written on social media platform X that the Congress stands badly exposed, alleging that the party's claims lack substance and credibility, especially in light of its record on fulfilling the pledges. Remember, viewers, this is uh, something that is happening in Karnataka also. Now, Malika Arjun Kharge, ahead of the polls in Maharashtra had warned his own party that do not make the promises that you cannot deliver on. Uh, you know, you should be announcing those schemes, those freebies where you can deliver in your budget. And now the Prime Minister has hit out at Karge saying that the Congress is now realizing it the hard way. My colleague Deepak joins us live on the broadcast from the newsroom. Deepak, of course, this is uh, Manikarjun Kharge, the Congress president himself, who today, uh, you know, clearly had spelt it out that uh, the Congress party should be only promising what they can deliver after what's been happening in Karnataka. And ahead of Maharashtra polls, he was warning his party. The Prime Minister now has, uh, uh, you know, taken aim at the Congress party on this. Right, Rakshita, you know what we have to understand here is uh, the Congress's trend. Every time, every election, uh, the Congress over-promises but under-delivers. And this time around as well, in Maharashtra, ahead of the elections, the message is very clear from the Congress President. He has said that, you know, you'll have to wait and watch uh, and then make your poll guarantees. Because we've seen what has happened in Himachal Pradesh, in Karnataka, in Telangana. And that's exactly what the Prime Minister has also mentioned. Let me take you through a series of tweets that uh, the Prime Minister has put out on his uh, ex-handle. He says, the Congress party is realizing the hard way that making unreal promises is easy but implementing them properly is tough and impossible campaign after campaign they promise things to people which they also know they will never be able to deliver now they stand badly exposed in front of the people and in another follow-up tweet he has said check the state where the congress has governments today first himachal pradesh karnataka and telangana the developmental trajectory and fiscal health is turning from bad to worse their so-called guarantees lie unfulfilled which is terrible deceit upon people of these states. The victims of such politics are poor youngsters, farmers and women who are not only denied the benefits of these promises, but also see their existing schemes diluted. Now, let me give you an example of what's happening in Himachal Pradesh. In Himachal Pradesh, they are unable to pay salaries. They are completely debt-ridden. In Telangana, the promises that they made are completely unfulfilled. In Karnataka, now, we also have rumours that the Congress government would, uh, could probably roll back uh, the Shakti scheme, which was promised in its manifesto ahead of the Karnataka election which promised free bus rides for women. D.K. Shivkumar has come out in the open and said that he has received a lot of suggestions from women, emails saying that women uh, have now opined that they will pay their own bus fares. But this is clearly, uh, you know, unviable if you look at the economics part of it because Karnataka, Himachal Pradesh and Telangana, Telangana is fairly better, but uh, Himachal Pradesh and Karnataka are completely cash-trapped states ruled by the Congress government and this completely on their poll promises. They promised the moon to the uh, people over there but they haven't delivered uh, a bit as well even now some of the schemes are still pending and the congress government day after day they keep making false promises to the people and this is exactly what the prime minister has called out in his latest tweet rakshita absolutely in fact the uh, shakti scheme face off is the latest in the list uh, after which uh, you know malikarjun kharge literally 